everybody, it's Guillermo Gonzalez and welcome to module one of Presentation Blueprint. You know, there are so many millions of presentations that are created around the world every single day. Whether this is to present project updates, whether this is to present to uh, customers, to present to suppliers, whether this is our presentation for executives, whether you are presenting a project in school or if you are a teacher, or if you are somebody looking for money for a new business and you're presenting to venture capitalists, there are so many opportunities and so many presentations created around the world every single day. Now, unfortunately, many of these presentations really suck. And I attribute a lot of the problem to what I call the PowerPoint wizard trap. And the best way to explain what it is is to actually show it to you. Now, before I show this to you, I need to you that the next slide it's uh, it's a little disturbing uh, so viewer discretion is advised so take a look at the next slide how many times have you seen this screen and what is it that people do when they see this screen well many people actually follow directions they click to add a title and they click to add text and if you're familiar with PowerPoint you know that you start typing your first bullet point, you hit enter, you type the next bullet point, you hit enter, you keep typing bullet points, and what happens? Well, your font keeps getting smaller and smaller so that PowerPoint allows you to cram as much information as possible in a single slide. And that creates a lot of the problems that we see nowadays in presentation, just slides full of text and bullet points that are not engaging at all. Now, this course is going to cover three things. Number one, how do you plan a presentation? Even before you sit down in the computer, you need to plan your presentation very carefully, and that in itself is going to save you time when you are planning, when, I'm sorry, when you are uh, crafting, when you're actually doing your presentation in the computer. Number two is to actually, you know, how do you design great slides? What are the types of colors and fonts and images and where do you get them? And, you know, an animation, should you use it, should you not? How do you do it, etc. All the ins and outs of the actual slides we're going to cover. And then number three, I'll give you quite a few tips about how to deliver your own presentation so you have the complete package. Planning, how do you actually create the slides? and then how do you deliver. In the next module, I'm going to talk to you about the different types of presentations that you can create because it is very important that you determine what is the type of presentation you are creating because based on that, what you do to the slides will be different. So I'll see you there.